So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we decided let's make a little quiz. So we're going to do a quiz about Dublin. Yeah, we're going to see from living here for three years just how well we know the city. So this should be interesting. Let's get started. So we're here, um, right, taking this quiz from the drill. Yeah, I'm looking down because the have it here on the lappy top here. So, on which street would you find this woman? Um, it's a good question. It's like the this, one street we never find unless we do it accidentally. Yeah, it's on nearest that close shopping street. It's not trendy, I don't think. I don't think it's Smoking Street. Is it Duke? I think Duke or St. Andrews? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna go with St. Andrews. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. it just worked! We guessed right. correctly. It's a weird thing where you walk around town but you never actually look at the street names. Mm -hmm. You're sending a letter to Raglan Road. What postcode should you put on it? Jesus, um, Raglan Road. Well, the roads are bigger. So my first guess is going to be Dublin 4. 4 being on the south side and on the posher side. And you usually notice like there's trees on either side. Let's see if it we're correct. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, we're on a roll, man. From Lucan to East Link, how many bridges cross the Liffey? Jesus. You, you know, there's a funny thing that um, you cross the Liffey almost every day, and yet you don't know what the shared number of bridges they are. A lot. This is more bridges than I've actually seen before. Um, I'm letting you get to this one. Mm. No pressure. Link. That's pretty far out. There could be a lot of bridges we've never even seen in our lives. I'm just gonna go crazy and go with the highest number, 24. Oh! Boom! Oh, that we was a lucky are, guess. Are, are Which of these has the most parking spaces? <laughs> Liffey Valley, Dudrum Shopping Center, Blanchard Shopping Center, or the Square? Hmm. I've only been to two of those shopping centers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember seeing much of the car park at Dundrum. And the square, I don't remember the square having a whole lot of parking space. It did on the top when we accidentally, we were trying to go, like both times with both shopping centers we've accidentally ended up in the car park with Dundrum partially because you actually have to walk through part of the car park to go to the other part of the shopping center which makes me think there might be more car park than we realize. Let's go with Dundrum. Because there was a Cop ton of people there, and they couldn't all have come via the Lewis, so. No. Oh, it was Blanchard Stand. Ooh, never been, so. Don't know. What is in the Book of Kells? Maps of Meath, Pagan Verses, Celtic Myths, Christian Gospels. It was Christian Gospels, wasn't it? I, I would say so. If a monk wrote it, most likely it would be a gospel. Yep, and we got that too. The home of Google on Barrett Street is called what? Now this picture is old because I work out by here. This is now three, three beautiful buildings almost finished right there. I had no idea that's what it looked like beginning with. I know that's some sort of mill. I'm going to cheat. And yes, they say something mill, so I'm going to guess the mill building. Yeah, I only know some of the newer buildings' as names. Ooh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Monte Monte Trivo. Montevitro. I have no idea. Yep. No clue. Oh well. If you were at the Preakness Stakes, you could also be in an area of Dublin. Which one? Hmm. So we assume it's gonna be a place where there's horse racing, meaning there should be somewhere an area big enough that you could have horse racing racing in the first place. I don't remember something like that in Fairview. Marino? I don't think so either. Wait. I don't know where Plim Plimlico is. I think I've walked through Plimlico. They have a lot of horses there. I've seen horses around there. I'm gonna guess that one. Let's see. Boom! Yep. Yeah. Back on a roll. Oh, oh I know dear. this arch. What is the official name of this arch? Oh, Rathen look, they were still building arch. the Lewis there. 
Oh, classically old photo. Grafton Arch, Fusilier's Arch, Memorial Arch or Victory Arch? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like that's a trick question of one, when was it built? Because if it was the Victory one, I assume it would have been more like, it sounds like kind of something the British would, would put, or the Fusilier's Arch versus Memorial more sounds like after war and I don't know who or what Grafton was that there is an entire street named after them. Well, I'd rather pick Grafton Arch or something else, but um, which one should we go for? I would have, well, they're not Memorial Gardens, so it shouldn't be Memorial Arch either. I, could, I would put Victory Arch, that sounds like European city, like, nope, Fusilier's Arch. Well, yep, that's another one wrong. Ooh, what is Dublin's mm. oldest theatre? The Gate, the Abbey, Smock Alley, or the Gate? We went in which one? We've been to Smock Alley Theatre, and that looks really lovely historically on the inside. So I would almost guess, but that could be a trick question, because some of the theatres moved location. So maybe should I go for the Abbey? I think I remember reading something about the Abbey having existed and moved to another location. Mm. It's a tricky one. I'm gonna try the Abbey. Because it does sound like it would have been in an Abbey before. Nope. Smock Alley. Alley. Uh. <laughs> Should have gone with the first idea. Yeah. That is a lovely theatre, by the way. Even just the entrance hall looks very nice. Yeah, should have known, should have known, man. The Carmelite Church on Whitefire Street is the home of the relic of which saint? I don't I even need to look at this. Go, go click the right one. We've been supposed to go there for forever. We're gonna do a St. Valentine's video about it and then we just couldn't be bothered to leave the house. Yep. Okay, that's 6 out of 10, fantastic. Flipping good. good. <laughs> Reference to the movie Flipper. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Well, we've still got time for another quiz. So, boom. More oh, well, Dublin. do you know Dublin? Okay, so we're back on it. Let's see if we can beat a our score. I don't, know how, I don't know how much this is out of, but let's try to get more than six correct. What's the name of the bridge besides the Custom House? Tablet Memorial Bridge, Sean Houston Bridge, Millennium Bridge, or Sean O'Casey Bridge? Hmm. No, I wouldn't say Houston because there's a Houston train station that has a bridge, so I would assume it's not that one. I think the Millennium Bridge is somewhere else too. Yeah, I think so too. I would guess the Sean O'Casey Bridge. I think so, and we're a bit far from Talbot Street. Oh! Oh, it does actually kind of lead me. to the other end of Talbot oh. Street, so that would have actually made sense. Okay, okay. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Where would you find the hungry tree that consumed this cast iron bench? We've not actually seen that one before. This is new. Your Gardner Street, Rings End. Near Henrietta Street, or Kilmanahan. Can Kilmanahan. we deduce anything from the picture? I well, see a park, I see Narcissus, and I see old buildings. It could be pretty much anywhere in Dublin. <laughs> we didn't see it when we went to Ring's End, when we did the walk by the lighthouses. Uh, it so looks like it would be an older part of Dublin, which more makes me think either Henrietta Street or Gardner Street. Ooh, this is this one. Any, many, many more. <laughs> Let's go with Henrietta. Ooh. Oh yeah! Oh, good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you find this mural? Um, Capra, Crumlin, Smithfield, or how do you pronounce that? Trumna. Trumna. Maybe. I know this one because the same um, artist, artist mm -hmm. collective, did one um, close by us. And the crazy thing is that there's some sort of petition that the council or whatever wants to remove it. It's like, these are beautiful pieces of art. Yeah. Keep them there, keep man. Keep them. Everyone wants to keep them. Can we cheat by seeing the I name of the street? I think it's crumbling. You say that very, very confidently. It's the, 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 I think the art was called Something Boy. Oh, I remember now. Yeah. I have no idea where though. So let's, let's see if I'm correct. No, Smithfield. Smithfield. Ah, okay. Northside. Ah. Ah, oh well. 
Which museum in Dublin would you go if you want to climb onto some very big furniture? I've not been to this museum. Uh, We've been to the science gallery, so it's definitely not that. Although the science gallery is worth a visit. Hmm. The Irish Museum of Modern Art, the Science Gallery, the Leprechaun Museum, or the Little Museum of Dublin. I don't think they would let you touch things in the Museum of Modern Art. So I'd say it's one of the last two. And for some reason, I'd say the Leprechaun Museum. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe because it's more fun to click on. And, and the Leprechaun right. Museum. <laughs> Let's go! What's the name of this shopping centre? Ooh. Ooh. We have not been to that one. I remember hearing about it. It was a big shopping centre that they did, but... It isn't... It used to be big, but it's not as big anymore. I remember and I think it was... recently got sold. There wasn't there one in Crumlin that kind of all the shops just left and it's just eerie? I think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a swing at it. Whoop. Boom! Yep, he got it. See, we read the news. We know about things, you know. <laughs> Where in Dublin did Samantha Mumba grow up? Who is Miss Samantha Mumba? Bonus question <laughs> for people at home. Let yeah. us know in the comments because we don't yeah, know. Yeah, we, we probably pay for the TV license, but like most people, we don't seem to watch RTE when there's Netflix existing, so sorry. Hmm. Drum Conjure, Fairview, Rathmines, or Hoof. Hmm. Well, this is a tough one. Could be any of these places. I don't know what what to look for. <laughs> I, I would just like... What? I feel like the most realistic one to grow have grown up in where there's a lot of suburbia would be like something like Drum Conjure. Let's go. I figure. Oh yeah. Lucky guess. See, we've been researching neighborhoods. We know a thing or two. <laughs> Before it was known as Hangar, what was this popular Dublin nightclub called? Mm. Um, Being uh, distracted by this face that I don't want to look at. <clears throat> Andrew Lane's Theatre, the Twisted Pepper, Twenty Ones, or Tripod. That is a really tough one. I've not heard any of those names at all. A cool name is the Twisted Pepper, but I'm guessing I might think of Twenty Ones. Twenty One sounds. It sounds like it sounds like something legit. Like it could a place would legit be called that. Let's see. Nope. Andrew Lynn's Theatre. <laughs> that a, was the worst one of the bunch. <laughs> Guess that's why they renamed it. The Dublin legend Bang Bang was known for pretending to shoot strangers with this everyday object. Okay then, screwdriver. A spoon, a key, or a corkscrew. Can you actually tell in the picture? I guess he's holding up whatever it is. I've heard about Bang Bang that apparently he was just this local guy that everyone knew that when you go into Lewis he'd literally be there, pretend to shoot people, and people would just play along and pretend to fall with that or shoot back back and it was this, just this is crack. new to me. This is new to me. Um but I didn't read. I always thought he was just pretending with his hands. I didn't realize there was a specific object, everyday object. A corkscrew sounds very specific. Like a screwdriver sounds like it could be an actual weapon. Like I figure a spoon would be the least threatening or to be like, this is just pretending I'm not actually yeah, trying to kill you. Yeah, a spoon or a key. That's true. A corkscrew might be like the actual weapon. I'm going spoon because. It would be the most hilarious thing. A key. A key. Would have made sense. Would have made sense. Where is the nearest, nearest Starbucks to George's Arcade? Like if I well. know Starbucks <laughs> locations. Do I look like if I want to take spend that sort of money? And on I don't coffee? drink coffee, so. Marking up the wrong street here, man. So George's Arcade. So let's go by what would be close. I can't remember where George's Arcade is. You know, that road when you go up towards Dame Street. So Dame Street would be physically the closest, but I don't remember a Starbucks on Dame Street. Should I go? No, I don't can't, I can't remember one there. I would go with one of the first two, I think. Hmm. I'm trying to picture these streets in my head. And Starbucks is not something I look for. 
I would have guessed Georgia Street, because I think there is one Starbucks that doesn't look like a Starbucks and you only notice when all the people in there are sitting there with their Starbucks logo, coffee, cups. Okay, I'm gonna pick Chatham Street. Chatham Street. Go ahead. Ah, it was Jury Street. Ah, I don't think we're gonna beat our high score on this one. <laughs> What is the oldest pub in Dublin? <laughs> I know Temple that one. Temple Bar, The Brazen Head, Johnny Foxes, or The Grave Diggers. No, the craziest thing is that I don't know that one. Walked past Temple Bar several times. The Brazen Head, well, we know this one's the answer because we ate in the pub across the street from it because we were, yeah. Our parents came over, our family came over. I know. Yeah, it was my family that came over and was like, that's the oldest pub in Dublin. That might have a lot of people. Let's go to this other one because it's just as prestigious. And but cheaper and less people. Especially and you don't the have less to wait as long for your food. Let's go with the brazen head. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Which Dublin chipper keeps a list of all their celebrity customers on the wall? Ooh, we might know this. How do you pronounce that? Bischoff's? I think. SMS? I've never seen SMS. Burdock's? Or Macari's? No. I remember Leo Burdock that we went in when we were yeah, still living in Tala for that yeah, two weeks like or something like that. Yeah, when we first came, we stayed at an Airbnb in Tala. Don't judge us. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was a great place. <laughs> and... That's when we, we were going for takeout because it was a shared flat and we couldn't really cook. And Leo Burdock's was like the first restaurant that we really enjoyed there. Like some traditional fish and chips, nice vinegar. First time we tried vinegar on our chips. Yeah, and I remember the walls. You just had like newspaper clippings of the thing. And I think who ate, they were just like, perf yeah, it really was suburb it history. Like it the so I'm checking it. Yay! Boom! Yatta! Six not out great. of eleven. Not great. That's still a pass. You could have done a lot worse though. <laughs> I guess we could have, but at least six out of eleven. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty. So I think that's enough for today. Um We've gotten six. I don't want to try again because I don't want to go on a losing streak, so I'm gonna keep a tie of winning. So thank you very much for watching the video. Um, obviously, there are some more things you can do about Dub learn about Dublin. Yeah, if you like this video, we could always do more quizzes. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Dublin history and even pop culture that we're totally missing and we don't know about. So, if maybe you like this, do. yes, maybe we do. So, please comment below if you want to see some more of this. And of course, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get to see us doing lovely things like this once again and also some information because I know that's what you came for information entertainment we've got it all here because we live in Ireland and you know this is what you're getting that's what the channel's about of course so um this is I'm gonna run two of us signing out see you later Bye.